All right, what's going on guys? So today I've kind of got a, a bit of a video for more so the developer of this game, Walt. Um, this is kind of a, you know, like just, it's it's a possible idea. I'm not saying to him, you have to do this, you you must. Oh, I gotta get out of this once again. Bam, not that, this, that, offline, bam. All right, so. I'm not saying like I want you to do this. This is what the game should be. There's probably going to be different ideas, dif different like ways that Walt wants to go with this game. Um, obviously, like he he might not like a few ideas, which I'm fine with. But then again, if one of these ideas, just even one, is able to be put into the game, I will be so happy. Like seriously, that'll be that'll make my day. Probably may, might even make my uh, month like to be honest it is just one of these ideas anyway so the first idea that i have i'm going to load up into um some campaign or not campaign creative just so you guys can have a something to watch um let's just chuck in let's just do like a big battle shall we um let's just chuck in a few built-in chips it's going to get a hell of a laggy I know that for sure. Um, so I'm just going to quickly set up this and then I'll start talking to you guys about what my opinions are. One sec, player one, bounty brain, uh, bounty brain hard, player two. Oh, I got to pause it. All right, let's make some allegiance. So we're going to be player one, bounty brain hard, player one, yes. Um, sorry, I'm doing this. It's, um... Um... One second... Uh, I'll just quickly do this and then we can start talking about the ideas. Sorry if this is annoying. Um... player four and then player three all right let's just see how this goes right, so this will be just playing in the background uh three two one bam all right so one of my ideas is assigned crew um the reason why i say that is because why aren't you there we go the reason why i say that is because imagine having um like just crew that could dedicate themselves to making power for this one section um like even just yeah just uh, like a crew that's purely on shield a crew that's purely just uh working on the weapons working on the reactors i guess this might kind of fuck up your cat or like your ship but and it kind of goes more into the ship manager i guess and this isn't um the first time anyone's ever you know, said like, why don't we have the assigned crew? Like, uh, so many people have said that. Um, and it's debatable, Walt might might not do this, but I just thought I might as well add this to the video. The second uh, uh, idea I had was detachable ships. Imagine if you could have, during battle, you can click a button that would be like an item that you could uh, put in while building, and you could just say, um, let's zoom in a bit here, you could say like, uh, Let's uh, let's detach the left uh, left quarter of our ship, and we'll use him as bait while our right quarter will flank in, and then like that would be so cool just to just to have. Um, and then the fourth idea or third idea that I have is a more of a variety of weapons. See, I was thinking like obviously there's going to be a more variety of weapons, and I know Walt is going absolutely ham trying to do all this stuff. You know he's got. Uh, he's the only developer, so he's like working on the game heaps, he's working on the website heaps, he's working on the Discord, managing it, no one's abusing it, so that, he's like doing an amazing job with all that type of stuff. Um, so I do get why it's going a bit slow. It would be nice if Walt could get a bit more hand, um, but then again, they would have to have the exact same plans that Walt has himself. Um, and then... The fourth idea that I have is possibly more types of shielding. So this kind of goes on to the variety of weapons, but I was thinking like, since, oh, I'll go into frame, 
since like the defenses are kind of like like all you can do is shield and armor that's it uh, apart from that you're pretty much screwed on the fact that um like there's no real other chances you can have with defending yourself um uh, there's, there are pinpoint like there's stuff that counteracts and whatnot but i feel like the lasers there needs to be like some sort of like maybe an emp weapon that is classed as defense um because it, like the electric shock that takes out shields maybe the emp takes out lasers for like a short period of time i reckon that'd be pretty cool um and then moving on from that because i don't want this video to go very long um we're going to do uh like what i was thinking is that imagine if you could uh as you progress your ship there's a certain level so like every time it reaches maybe one million or like a certain level like you have to pay a ton to get this but maybe a, a main cannon or like a main weapon like imagine how cool that would be um one sec let's quickly change this to player two because this is also player yeah uh they were on the same team and they're way too op um what I was thinking, yeah, is like a main cannon. So like something, I don't know, like maybe you could do like a main shield or like a main cannon or like a main, like, I don't know, something like that. Like, so you work towards like your ship and then you pay like a, an, an incredible fee, like $1 million to get this um, main thing. You can only have one of like, you can't have a shield and a cannon, like, or like a shield and a laser system. Like it has to be like the specific things. Um, and then maybe that uh, specific thing could have like a possible, um, uh, let's think, like a possible, like it, it comes inbuilt with reactor cores and stuff like that. So there is a way of destroying this uh, masterpiece of a, a cannon or a shield or whatever. Um, all right, moving on. So the next thing uh, that I thought of was maybe upgrade and slash tiers for weapons and defenses. Um, I know this these uh, top 10 are kind of like a, gameplay type of ideas um not so much on bugs and whatnot but i think that's probably a better way to go um but yeah like maybe possibly upgrading shield so like they start off pretty mediocre because when, when i started off in the game it didn't take me that long to get myself up like took like an hour at most to get myself up to like a level where i could build whatever i want like i guess that's good but i would like to see a bit more of a struggle to get up to like that high high level of um just just getting to like a uh, like just make it slower just make it more enjoyable to start off slow because 100 percent when you uh spawn in in this game you can take on the first amount of people uh, easy peasy like i feel like that should be a bit more balanced it should be a bit more harder to get up to like higher levels um and it also adding upgrades and stuff it it would allow you to um have the ability of creating like um a more in-depth game like it takes longer holy crap this guy's circle of death is absolutely destroying the archangel uh is that did i say that yeah um yeah just add more depth and it'd just be uh, personally i think that'd be a lot cooler just have upgrade and slash tiers um and then now moving on to like the the multiplayer side i don't know if multiplayer like there's a big controversy of like will multiplayer be added to the game i don't know for sure, maybe that'll come when Walt decides to put this game onto like or um, like a Steam or the, that type of source. Um, we don't know if that'll happen. I'm not too sure if multiplayer will ha happen, but I was thinking if it does happen, how cool would it be? In the main menu, you could go 1v1, you invite your friend, you choose a ship that either you've designed or whatever. Maybe the person that hosts the 1v1 can decide what the limit is for... Uh, money so you can add maybe one or two ships or maybe even like a fleet of small tier ships like that'd be insane just to have like 1v1s against your mates like um that just oh, that would just add so much more to the game i know that would be a huge task to do and would take more than one developer but just just imagine that going up to your mate like what up dude please 1v1 me just built this cool new design see if your design can beat it and then you could like have like big bragging rights at school like <laughs> it'd just be cool uh, i don't know uh and another one uh, kind of along the same lines is free for all so imagine like joining like getting like four of your mates and being like full out free for all like you <laughs> imagine being in a discord 
um, like maybe the Discord adds like free for all servers or like one v one servers or like something like that. Uh, I reckon that'd be kind of cool. Um, and then uh, this is the main point I've kind of got. It's got two points. It's got um, boss battles and then the end game theory. So what I was kind of thinking for more of a the campaign side of the game is maybe adding like a boss battle. So obviously, if we click M, as we can see, inside every galaxy, there is a, a planet, right? Um, and then, so, there's like a... There's, they're all surround like, all the missions are always surrounding the galaxies, uh, which I kind of find cool. Um, and uh, what I was kind of thinking is that you have all the easier tier stuff on the outside of the galaxy, and then as you slowly get further inside the galaxy, it gets harder and harder, and then it goes to Veteran or Vanguard, my bad. Um, so yeah, it goes like um, Amateur, Professional, Elite, Vanguard, and then at the center of every single galaxy, uh, like say if we worked our way, we defeated this Vanguard, let's say, worked into this, and there'll be one that was just uh, somewhere randomly generated around here, and then it spawns in, like you spawn in, and it's, um, say you started off in this galaxy, right? This one would be worth 1 million, for example. Um, the value of 1 million, maybe the guys in this galaxy would be a bit easier. Um, and then, yeah, so this boss battle will be worth 1 million, and then you move on to this one, or you, you, go to, you just go around um, and work your way around this one. The next one you go to will be worth like 2.5, then it goes to 5, and then it goes to 10. And then it gets like increasingly harder and harder and harder. And then what I was thinking, once you finish all of those, then this is where the end game theory kind of links in with the boss battles. Is I was kind of thinking like maybe a separate galaxy that was locked away because of like a rift in the space-time continuum. That the only way you could get there is defeating all of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, defeating all seven bosses. You get to this final end game thing. Um, because once you defeat all seven bosses, you get an item which allows you to jump through this rift or generate like a portal using the FTL drives and like a, a wormhole, like a wormhole like spawns or something. I don't know. That would just be kind of cool. Like something would happen and then like the end game battle between like you and like this huge ship that you need to like save up resources and like grind towards like just something in the future, you know? Uh, let's go back into this battle since the circle of death is pretty much one. Um, but that's pretty much all the ideas that I've kind of come up with. Um, I know they're kind of like more in the uh, the future type of um, builds. I know they're kind of like you know late later in development type of ideas. But you know. If there's not something to work towards, then there's no point working towards anything, you know? Like, you want to always have something in the end that you can work towards. And I feel like that's one of the greatest things a developer, uh, a developer could have, is just having the ability to, to kind of just have something to work towards, you know? Like, right now, I don't know what Walt has to work towards. Um, he hasn't really said much about, like, what his plans are for this game, what his um, ideas are. Um, but I don't know, this, this might help him, this might not, um, he might have a look at it, he might not, who knows, um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video because in the comment section down below, I would like to see you guys write all your comments, um, because then I know Walt might even read through the comments, be like, holy shit, this community has the greatest ideas, I'm going to select this, this, and this, and this is going to be added, um, I think that'd just be incredible. Um, I don't know if anyone's actually made an ideas video for Walt um, on YouTube, but if this is the first, please do support this video so he can see it. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. That pretty much wraps up this episode uh, or this video. Um, if you guys did enjoy and did feel like these ideas were worth it, please, please, please try get Walt to have a look at it. Uh, and do like the video, do comment your ideas do everything subscribe for more videos as well 100% there will be more campaign missions there will be more me building um, I do have a plan for building the most expensive ship in the game uh, I'll probably be doing a time lapse possibly of building that because it's going to take a fucking long time um, anyway if you guys did enjoy as I've said before do whatever see you guys in the next episode goodbye